Alrighty, hello everybody and welcome back to the family realm. <laughs> hello, it's been a while. We had family visiting. It was stressful and crazy and wild and it was great and oh my god! And I have no idea what we've been doing. I, I have completely and utterly forgot what we were doing before That's we left. Blood. Yes it is, because Cotton wanted me to rename my totem Blahaj, and I did. Um, I'm not going to keep this totem though, simply because it's not a pack I can link to in my info. And I, I really would prefer to be able to do stuff that most people can access. Like, I, I know I'm wearing the armor and all that jazz, but that's like a weird thing. And the Blahaj actually is ac accessible elsewhere through a proper pack. And, and blah, 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 blah. So, but it is done. I do have a block. Ah! Oh yeah, and PvP is still on because I killed myself a whole bunch of times earlier. What? Because you had clothing head. Yes. I made a whole bunch of clothes and shoes and other random stuff for Thomas because I do remember that um, Thomas was building um, armor sta statues and needed an armor statue to be able to place clothing on a shelf. Yes, and I put my shoes by the bed. Because I really do tend to walk around barefoot at home, so so this whole, like, having boots on thing 
and having shoes on my skin is a little weird, actually. <laughs> that's... Just hanging with my pal. That's... that... that's... that's weird. No, this, this is true. Uh, until I went into F5, I didn't know my head was in the dragon's mouth. It doesn't look like it in first person. But since I'm here. In fact, my you are You are still very strange. True. <laughs> yep, very strange. Uh... I really do, like, not remember a lot of what was going on before we took our break. Um, yeah. Is this Hermitcraft? I can't remember. No, I think we'd be playing Decked Out if this were Hermitcraft. Alright, let's go play Decked Out. You d you are aware that I would be worse than B-dubs if, if I were to try to play Decked Out. I, I'm, that is a tall measure. I am... Very bad at that type of game. You, you know this. This is why I play Minecraft and not that type of game. <laughs> I still think, though, when the season's over and they have the world download, that we should download it and we should stream a few decked out runs. Well, we could download um, season, what was it, seven? And yeah, Thomas already has season seven on his computer. We, we could download Season 7 and run a few Season 7 Decked Out 1 runs. Cotton says that they want to do that with me. You know, that's what I forgot to do. I wanted to set up a pronoun check. Well, yeah, but the world download for Decked Out 2 isn't out yet because they're still playing it. Yeah, it's going to be <laughs> Well, what about pronouns now? What? Cotton has this really... Th cool um, channel point redeem where it's pronoun check. Everybody says their pronouns. Kind of normalizing the whole asking for people's pronouns and you can also oh, I like it. get the pronouns of the people in chat who usually don't have their pronouns in their profile like we do. Actually, I don't even know if your profile is accessible to check. Anyway, so like and just normalizing the whole asking a person's pronouns to begin with. And I was like, we were talking about that over on the um, other Discord today. And I was like, I need to remember to steal that because that's a good idea to have. And, and then so I completely it's... forgot. So I believe, uh, if I remember correctly, Voided Main has some kind of hookup on uh, her chat that actually um, shows people's pronouns when they talk. Really? I'm going to have to go yeah. poke Voided Main's. Um thingy then and find out how she does that yeah when i was uh watching her stream there was a uh, one of those messages go to this website enter your stuff and your pronouns will be in chat kind of deal oh i i definitely gotta look into that then by the way i just realized that your shirt kind of looks like you have like a like slightly off center belly button right above your pants it just are i you, just are you are you um just seeing my belly button <laughs> no, I'm just very easily distracted tonight, apparently. Yeah, Cotton, if I if I find the 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 um extension slash overlay slash website, whatever it is that Void and Main uses, I will definitely let you know too, because I think that's like a really, really good idea. Um uh, also um Shout out to Lee Dark Knight and Blue Pendragon because Blue Pendragon is working on coding a Pando substitute and may have figured it out already. Um, they just need to show me because I need to make my own Twitter. Resurrect Sunny, Resurrect Sunny. Yay, Resurrect Sunny. Yeah, exactly. Um, I need to make a Twitter bot and hook it up to that. But the coding and everything is done, and oh yeah, I need to find some gifts of cute cats. I have no money. I can't commission an artist right now, so I don't know how that's gonna work. <laughs> yeah, we're poor. Sorry. <laughs> like, <laughs> so we'll we'll see about that. But we we do have an alternative in the works. So shout out to all of them. Um. Actually, hold on. Let's see if I can do this. Let me like just do like a whole shit ton of shoutouts. If 
I can remember how. It really helps if you know how to spell people's names. Woot, that's Voided Mane. Voided Mane is an awesome, awesome artist as well. Actually, I did send out a query to her about like pricing for such things of a, as a gift for the, the cat, but um, like I said, I have no money, so this would be a long-term goal for that. Um, let's see. Um... There's a timer, I can't do them all at once. <laughs> well, there's like 460 entities. Yeah, the villages get like a ton of entities. It's really weird. Cool. Um... Yeah, I'll go check out your card too, but like I said once again, I have no money. So this is this is a long term um, type goal thing that we will be looking at. Okay, I'm gonna have to wait because it tells me I still have to wait like two minutes before I can do another shout out. Yeah, we have no income. We are poor. Yeah, unfortunately, Platy Willa is still searching for a job, and I am unemployable and all sorts of fun jazz. So, <laughs> I oh there there that's a thing I can do right there. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> um, okay, so what were we planning on doing today? Um, um, I really don't know. Um, I know that, like, we have Wither Skeleton Skulls up the wazoo now. Um, so that's not a thing. Yeah. Woohoo. Oh! I was gonna do an end based um, Wither Rose farm. Yeah, that sounds good. We should do that. I need pumpkin. That's not what I want. What do you mean? Um, sh the shoes on the ground, um, put the shoes on an armor stand, and then switch slots from main hand to head, or head to main hand. Um, you know, how that goes. Um, well, you gotta give it the head first, so put it on the stand. And then switch slots. Yep, that's where it's supposed to go, is the main hand. And then put it at attention. And then you need to X coordinate, raise the arm 45 degrees, I think it is. Something to that effect. And it'll put the shoe at the upright shoe position. And then you just sink it into the ground. I need so many more turtle pumpkins, and we do not have a pumpkin on at the moment. Um, as a head, it's too big, even as a small stand. It's, like, huge. Oh, oh, the clothes? Yeah, the clothes, you put it as a head and then kind of just sink it in so that, like, only a couple layers of clothing are showing because you have such a limited spot.
Okay. Hold on, I actually gotta go find the Twitch profiles of Lee and Blue because I do not remember their actual, actual Twitches. Okay, there we go. There we go. I need pumpkins. I've got like half a stack of pumpkins and I need a full stack of pumpkins. I do not have like a lot of pumpkin growing space. Wait, how many pumpkins do you need? A stack. And how many do you have? Like half a stack. A little over half a stack, really. I have four. <laughs> Nah, you keep your four. I'll just keep obsessively harvesting my pumpkins. Yay, I'm glad! Surrounded by water instead of having water in the center, and I am confused trying to figure it out because I am very easily confused. Some of these plots may or may not work. Ah! Yeah! That pumpkin pushed me. I know. Very rude pumpkin.
there's pants and shirts. So you're probably looking at a pair of pants. The pants are a little weird. Yeah, we, we fold our pants differently than those pants are folded. Those pants are folded like clothing store pants fold. I can't remember my sorting system at all anymore. I like, haven't played here in like three days and I can't remember how things are sorted. I'm like, wait, where's this stuff kept again? I'm terrible. I'm 48, I'm getting closer. I suppose I should also check and see how much snow we have. Oh, there's dark pumpkins in here. We have 15 snow blocks. Mwah. Oh, I have more snow. How much snow do you need? Two stats. I mean, I could probably just start off with less, really, but... Uh, hang on, let me see what I have. Ideal efficiency is two stats. I keep... Breaking when I do the choppy choppy. How much snow again? Two stack of snow blocks, please. Cotton has returned! I, dun, 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 dun. I have a stack in 44. That'll probably be good. That'll work. And I now have a stack of farm. Um. Are you at home? Yeah, I'm still at home. Gonna still expand that one plot because we're probably gonna end up needing more stuff. You can just put it in the shelter. Oh, or throw it. Yeah, that's that's. <laughs> so Dad just kind of like sh like chucked it at me because I felt that's how how bad he likes to give me things. That's what we do.
now we should have tons of pumpkin in the future and be going, why do we have so many pumpkins? get out there and be like oh yeah i needed this like 500 other things hold on Bunch of soul sand. Kelly skulls. Let's go. I am making an end based wither rose farm. Is what I am making. I'm making something adorable. You are always making something adorable unless you are making something disturbing. You, you... What's the difference? <laughs> okay. Like, I, you know, totally stole this idea from the internet, but still. Doesn't make it any less adorable. I mean. Exactly. Oh, wait, I think I left the skulls that I brought a bunch of skulls home. I don't need to go all the way up. Ah, I did. Bunch of so now we go to the end. Where, where's my? Why, why do I? Not?
Oh, you, you went, oh, oh, that's kind of cool, you kind of like, Is there a cat shirt? There should be a cat shirt. A cat shirt? Shirt. Oh, shirt. No, I don't know. Can you duplicate shirts? I don't think so. Yeah, you can try that. I have no idea what you're talking about. Hold on. Thomas has questions about the book. Okay, you're looking at the book. Where are you seeing this? Rotation? Oh yeah, don't look at the pointing. That, that, that's... You just, just look at the adjust rotation bit up at top. Um, Okay, you click on 45, and that's going to be how much each time you adjust something is. And then you, um, this actually should still work with the wand. And then you just go to nudge and, um, not nudge, but um, adjust, um, pose adjustment and click on arm X plus, And it'll, should move it 45 degrees. Did you put it at attention first? Yeah, but you, your um, thingy should still be okay, even with...
this is like a really stupid simple farm and I, the only reason why I did it with schematic is because I can't remember exactly how to put it together right every time yet because I haven't made it a lot so and it's easier like working off schematics for me is a lot easier than working off of videos when it's just a place this place that place this kind of thing all right I forgot the trap door because I am amazing. I can just go get a trap door so thankfully I have something to go get. That's good choice, carry trap doors. I know. Let's see. I mean, it won't be an oak trap door. Also, this design is usable. You can just use this to cheese the wither. You don't need to use it as a farm. It's just you dig out a hole, put there, make sure this part is at zero, zero, and ta -da, you've got a wither cheesing area. There goes in there. essentially how it goes. Maybe there's some in the wither. Spencer places the pumpkin onto this uh, onto the snow, creating the golem. The bottom um, dispenser shears the pumpkin, which goes right back into your inventory. The wither goes boom, boom, ba -da boom, 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 kills the um, golems, giving you roses. The golems also leave a crap ton of snowballs when they die, which in a second, when we run out of snow, we shall go steal to turn into more snow blocks, to turn into more golems. And essentially, you just keep doing this forever and ever and ever. And every time the wither, the wither is taking suffocation damage, 
but every time the wither heals something, it heals itself. Oops. We just do this forever and a day, and you'll notice that the Wither's hot bar, his health bar is going right back up again. That little break we took while we were gathering snow did not hurt him a bit. nice thing about this farm is the dragon does not actually bother it one bit. Since the dragon really doesn't come down to this area around the portal, or the gateway as it were, um, except for when she's perching, and she doesn't really get destructive when she's perching per se, like she'll flap you and everything, but she doesn't destroy blocks, because you notice how we had all of these blocks like, and everything. So. Even when perching, the dragon will not bother the stuff from this farm. We can just leave it right up. Uh oh, I lost a head. A pumpkin. Did it go down here? Yep, there it is. This is also a oddly effective snow farm if you need a hill crap ton of snow because you end up with a lot more snowballs than you need to make snow blocks. But for now, I think I'm going to call it done for that. So then all you have to do is one, you could just let the wither die of suffocation. I'm going to make a little more snow, because we actually could use some more snow back home. Yeah, that was like our whole Huh? That was like our whole supply. That was our whole supply of snow. Yeah, don't worry, I'll bring back more. Once you're done, you can just just make sure you don't have knockback on your sword because that can knock him out from under the pillar, and that would be cool. And there we go. That was like really loud. I apologize if you couldn't hear me very well through all of that. And now we've got a star as well. And I, I will probably come and do like a longer like AFK type thing here at some point. You can't really super AFK this because you do need to be able to like be awake to like go down and gather stuff. And that didn't take a lot of durability off of those, and of course we've got like iron up the wazoo, so it's not like that's going to be an issue. Do now I need to rearrange my inventory? I think I'll leave. Just for two. Just to have ender chests. I like having ender chests everywhere. I leave ender chests everywhere, like. There 
we go. Bunches of roses. One, I, I really highly suggest checking out ENXO4's, pretty much all of ENXO4's designs and farms. Because they're awesome. Don't actually have room for the wither roses in the flower box. <laughs> Although we do now have three snout banner patterns. I do like that. Let's put the snow away in the oh, did I I didn't grab the extra snow. I left the extra snow there. Because I don't even know. I also left the, the star in the head there. Because I I I just yep. That's okay. I'm gonna put this stuff away and then I'll get that because Maybe next I'll make a fast farm. Blah. I do so like making farms. <laughs> I really do. I, I just find making them very fun. I hadn't noticed. I know, right? Bringing back almost four stacks of snow. Lot. So that should be a pretty goodly amount for now. Yeah, that'll do. Come stop by the cottage next time you're in the neighborhood. You want me to bring some snow to you? Yeah, I'll take a stack. I'm gonna put the nether star in the miscellaneous chest. We don't actually use beacons a lot. Like, ever, really, so it's kind of. Not yet. <laughs> I'm planning a sky disco now. Ooh, sky disco, eh? Yeah, with flashing different beacon beams of different colors. I know that does. Like you have them like set on timers to turn them on and off and change yeah. their colors. Okay. Hello. Ding dong. Where are you up from? Come in. <laughs> no for you. Woohoo. That. Ooh. Sorry, I pressed the wrong button. Come see the desk. You've got. You've got. Whoa, look at that! You got a grill! I like it! Yeah. I figured the Hobbit kitties would appreciate that. <laughs> ah! I have fallen off the deck. Oh, I like the, like, the pot, too. That's very nice. Thank you. Treasure and sneaker. Yeah. A nice little deck there. This is all very nice. Very Thanks. cozy. That's what I figured. So yeah, the, the grill design, I basically stole a design off the internet, and I cut it in half because they had two of these in a row, and I'm like, ah, that's too big. We only need one wide grill. That's fancy. You did a you did a pretty cool looking grill, what was it, um, season two, I think, as well, actually, I remember. That's entirely possible. On the Thomas's Beach. 
Oh yeah. It wasn't this design, it was a different design, but this is a cool one yeah. too. Yeah, it's one I just kind of came up off the top of my head during season two. I can't remember it anymore. I have a I was... schematic of it. <laughs> uh, I was originally uh, trying to do something with like magma blocks and stuff, but uh, can get the... I keep the pulling rack. off. Yeah, I didn't leave much room out here on the deck, I'm afraid. No. It's still really cool. I like it. It's a cute little grill. Yay. Yeah. Thank you to, um, I don't know, whoever designed this and put it on the line. I'm sorry I chopped the grill in half, but I don't really need a really big one. It's only for two cats. And they're just itty bitty cats. Exactly. They should probably be grilling fish or something out there, but... I mean, I could go get you some fish. Uh, I probably have fish. I just didn't think about it. I know I have... Oh, I have raw fish. I have raw cod. And I think we have um, salmon at home. At home. Okay. We'll swap it out at some point. Right now, uh, we'll just assume this is for the humans. These these are hogland meat. Yeah. You mean they live with humans? It's not just the cats? Oh, me. Oh, oh I suppose. And, uh, I was all pleased that I managed to turn just one of the many uh, item frames here invisible and it was the correct one. <laughs> well, you do have to be looking at it. If you're not looking at it, it won't go invisible. So you, you, you it won't accidentally target it the wrong one. Yeah, but, I mean, effectively, there's one on the front of that block and on the top of the block, so... Oh, that's... Yeah. It looks really cool. I like it. Yay. It's very fancy. Plus, I can make banners on it. You can put banners on it? No, I can make banners. Oh, oh yeah, because it's a loom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's very hey. cool. I like it. I think you saw all the other cool things. Yeah, I think we showed it um, last time before we like took our break for all the really cool stuff. My favorite is the the, the library. The library. The kitty. And the yeah. weird eyes because you're a weirdo. Well, somebody's got to keep an eye on the map in case anything new goes up. And I like the little, like, gardening shed attic area, too. That's cute. Thank you. Thomas, can I come look at your stuff, or are you still working? Do you want me to wait, then, until you're done? Okay. All right. Let us know when you're done, and I'll come over, too. I think this cottage may be, may be reaching its uh, end point here. Oh, the cottage, but you still have like the area around the cottage and the secret garden to work on. Yeah, the secret garden's not... I mean, yeah, the area around the cottage to some extent. Too, yeah. These vines are insanely great. Your vines? Are your vines going crazy? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Look at those vines. They're all right where I want them to be now before they had grown over the uh, the expensive blocks and I had to trim them back. But <laughs> If you put string there, it won't grow over them again. Yeah, but then they'll be string there. Yeah. I'll just keep them trimmed. Just keep them trimmed. <laughs> I like that girl. Yay. Yeah, I figured like the deck definitely needed something. Ooh, are you ready for us, Lama? Gotta see, gotta see. I think 
I ran into that tree. Okay, we've seen down here mostly already. I landed on the box. You think you might have overdone yourself? Hold on, I can't see anything. Okay, there we go. Oh, hey, shoes! And a pile of clothing and half a body? Oh, just um, pants? Pile of clothing on the bed. Oh, and the person has the closet door open. And they're putting the clothing in the closet. Oh, that's really nice. That this looks really cool, good. Dude. Oh, he's nice. I like the shoes very good. Yeah, because you, you have with the shoes off. Look at that. No shoes, but the shoes are over here. Because the shoes are over here, yeah. And the shoes go nice with pants. Everything is well coordinated. Very cool. I love it. And, and perfect pose for opening the closet door. Very cool. I like this it. That's really awesome. Yeah, so we. Yay. Yay. And now. Did, we... good. did you want to see my deck? <laughs> well, yeah, you should definitely check out Platy's deck. First. Thomas is very eager to get back to his reading. The grandparents bought him several new books when they were here. And so. You know, gotta read. I know, cool, right? Like a drum? It does kind of a little bit look like it might be a drum set. And the arms are like symbols. Oh, okay, yeah, I, I can see that, yeah. And the symbols are made of pork, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, dude. We'll have a we'll have a deck party over here sometime. <laughs> Ooh, that's what I need in this spot over here. A music. Uh... Yeah, I'll put a jukebox over here. And of course, it's got to play cat. We'll have of to put course. you know cat above it. And... Cat and hobbit. Cat and hobbit. That's a thing, right? I don't think there's a hobbit disc. Are you sure? In slight housekeeping news, the realm has not yet updated to 1.20.2, but it will likely be doing so within the next couple of days, because realms automatically updates. You, you don't get to tell them, no, don't update the version yet, my mods aren't ready. So, <laughs> um, on top of that, 1.20.2 made several um, data pack and resource pack breaking changes to the way the code is, works and the way that it reads the code. So Vanilla Tweaks has not yet updated their data packs and resources packs to work with 1.20.2. And when the realm does switch to 1.20.2, all of our data packs and resource packs that we are working with will likely break. <laughs> Which means that we will have to download, because realms don't function like a server we can't access the 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 realm like files and everything via uh a uh whatever it is via the internet via a console we have to download the entire world folder from the realm make any changes we need to into in the data pack folders and all of that jazz and then re-upload the realm back to realms in order to make any changes like that kind of thing it's kind of a pain in the butt. So, we, when Realms decides to update us to 1.20.2, which will likely be in the next day or so, or a couple days, we might not be able to play. <laughs> I, I have Via Version and Via Fabric and all of that stuff, so I can connect to a Realm if it doesn't want to let me to connect with 1.20.1 client. But um, the data packs and everything else that we run off might very well be broken in such a way that breaks the realm. 
in, in its functionality and playability, and also Buddy and Thomas might not be able to connect until they update their things. They, they yeah, are. I mean, we could connect vanilla. Yeah, you 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 connect vanilla wise because you're not as addicted to your mods as I am. But. That is the fun and excitement that... Why are you in the wall? Chili golems. Golems don't kill humans. But that, that's, that's the excitement that may or may not be happening to us soon. So, I know we just had, like, you know, a, a service outage, etc. because of the um, family visit, but we may end up not being able to play again for a while because of realm update shenanigans. You know, have like several iron golems just like wandering around the, the museum. Well, it's good to know they appreciate the art, right? Oh, I suppose, yeah. Speaking of museum, I think I'm gonna go work on the. Um, Thingy. I just blinked on word. Ah, oh, map. For a little bit. Tearing down and placing up and etc. I know that super exciting. I think my, like, computer screen has gotten darker. Or I'm getting blinder. I don't know. It's just I find it a lot harder to see things in dark environments now. Might also be because my brightness reverted itself back down to 50%. Too. Could be that. I'm about to use. I'm about to make the item that's the biggest waste of blaze powder in the history of Minecraft. Um, what's that? Well, uh, you have any guesses? Um, well, blaze powder isn't really like that much of a like. Let's see, that wastes blaze powder. Yeah. What does blaze powder used to do is, um, end rods? Not end rods, end rods are cool. Well, that's blaze rods anyways, not blaze powder. Um, eyes of ender? Nope. They're kind of cool too, though. They're cool too. Uh, I'll give you a hint. It's a one-use item that is easily duplicated by a cheaper item that has multiple uses. Brewing stand? No. It's 
sounded one you said. No, I know. I can't. I'm not. This is an item that you use once and then it's gone. Use once and then it's gone. But it's general for its general purpose. You can create an item using cheaper ingredients that works multiple times before. It goes. Potion? I can't think of it. I can't think of anything like I've listed off all of the things that I can think of that one uses blaze powder or rods for. That's because you've probably never made one of these in your whole Minecraft history because why would you? <laughs> what is it? I'll give you another hint. I needed something round to imitate a speaker in the front of my jukebox. You already said it wasn't an Eye of Ender, though. No, nope, not an Eye of Ender. Eye of Enders are too blue. I needed something kind of black. Yeah, yeah no, yeah, I got... It's, it's not... I mean, it's like black on the outside. It's like... Gray and... Magma bug colored on it. Is this a room with a cat in it? What, what, root, where, what? The map? Oh, um, this map? No, it's, um, Starry Night by Van Gogh. Oh, that is on Astral right now? No, it is not a room with a map on it. With a cat on it. It is the persistence of memory. Ooh, nice. Dollar. Yeah, I can't think. I don't. I can't think of what it is that you're making. You got nothing? No. It's a fire charge. You use blaze powder to make fire charges? Yeah. Blaze powder, gunpowder, and uh, coal. I don't think I've ever made a blaze, a fire charge before. Because right, why would you? I mean, you can just get them from the. Yeah, or you could just make a flint and steel. Yeah. Cheap. You can make a flint and steel to make fire, but like you use fire charges and like um. Fancy fireworks too, but you can just by the time you're making fancy fireworks, usually you can get them from. I don't know. I've never made fireworks. Bartering so arm. Fire charge. Yeah. Lots of clocks. Yes, lots of clocks. Melty clocks is essentially what the persistence of memory is. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good thing. Good choice of Dolly. If you're not going to do the one with the horses or elephants with really long legs. Yeah, the really long leg elephant. I think they're elephants. Oh, there's one with elephants, there's one with horses. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, the, the one with the, the gun and the, yeah. Dolly did a lot of weird stuff. Dolly was weird, like, in general. Did you know that Dolly used to sleep with a, um... Yeah. Sp like a spoon or something in his hand held over the edge of his bed? So he could get hypnagogic imagery when it woke him up when it fell out of his hand as he was drifting off to sleep? Yep, exactly. So it would he would fall over his hand and wake him up just as he was drifting off. So that he would be able to remember his hypnagogic imagery or the the dreams that one is having as one is falling asleep because Dolly is just that extra. My two favorite artists, if you want to know anything about me, are Dolly and Escher. I actually kind of want to do um, the Dolly one in this world too. Yeah, I'm down with some down. Not that one, so what one are you? Do I need the top of the jukebox uncovered to use it? I think you kind of need to leave the top of the jukebox uncovered to be able to put it 
this again. But you're not sure? Yeah, I'm not sure. Find out. No, you can still put this in with the top with the thing on it? Yeah, I mean, you can't put it through whatever's on top. You have to put it in the side, but yeah. And that works? You don't have to aim at the top? Put a thing at this kid then? No, no, you can just click on the side. Like this. Oh, well, that's cool. I was unaware of that. I mean, we definitely have enough um, at this to spare to take one over to your... Can you not hear what's playing now? Oh, I do. I I can hear it, but I was just saying that like it's been in my under chest for months. <sighs> I threw it in there when I uh, wanted to get the sound and music achievement. That's reasonable. I've had cat and other side in there. I like other side. That's a good one. Yeah, and we had bunches. It actually reminds me, I need to update my um, mod list that I'm using, or the list of mods that I have. Um, in my like, info and stuff, because at the moment it's not accurate. I've actually added several mods si since then, and I've just been lazy about updating the list. of them being a mod that makes cats nod their heads in time with the music because that's very important. It is indeed a very important thing. thing you can never say about Minecraft is that it has crappy music. All of its other flaws, but the music has always been like top notch. Indeed. It's great because like nobody else can hear the music you're playing right now. So <laughs> we're just like rocking the dinosaurs out. Dinosaurs can hear it. The dinosaurs can. I love those little dancing dinosaurs, and it's like awesome that they're like a default thingy. Yeah, it's pretty cool. 
Yeah, I wasn't able to score us a new uh, unlock emote for uh, chat today from anywhere. So. I got like a gem emote, but gems you can only use on gems. So. Uh, you can't use gems emotes elsewhere. Yeah. I suppose that's allowed. You know, if you've, you've got an artist, you know, you don't want to go and sharing things without the artist's permission. Oh, that was water. I forgot we had waterlogged leaves. Is that a stinky cheese? That's stinky cheese, yeah. I have... Did you know we had a stinky cheese emote? No. Now you know. And then I had to do the creeper just because you know the creeper. creeper. It's thematic. Hello, Supervisor Clark. Oh, Inspector Clark, Supervisory Lama Scream. It's like his name is so long that it doesn't fit on my screen. That's because he's a very important llama. Does he have a tower? Yes, many. That's why all of my builds have towers, because I'm a very important person. Because you're a very important llama, too. Yes. I don't know. How many people get that? Like, I don't even know, like... That's like a throwaway joke from, like, I don't even know if people would get it. But that's like a totally in-joke thing for us now. Yeah, yeah, very important, Mama. Exactly. You do not get that. Um, it's it's from um, Mirror Mask. Um, 
Valentine has a tower. Of course I have a tower. I'm a very important person. I was going to say more, but I don't want to spoil the movie if someone hasn't seen it. Yeah. It's a good movie. You should go see it. Like, you should watch it. It's a very good movie. It is a good movie. And that's, like, a movie I don't feel bad, like, recommending either. Because, like, most movies I watch aren't, like, kid friendly. <laughs> that one is. I guess all the good, like, really important movies I watch are mostly the Princess Bride. That's it. And the Muppet movie. No. no. Okay, yeah, the Muppet movie. But I wasn't ah. going to suggest that. That's not like a you have to really watch the movie. Are you sure? Princess Bride is a you totally have to watch it. Yeah, Princess Bride and Mirror Mask are two of my favorite stuff. You love the Princess Bride. That's good. Good. At, le at least you know some good stuff, Cotton. You're, you're, you're a good egg. Of course, there's other movies I'm like, you gotta watch that are very much so, like, not kid safe. Like, Airplane, which, like, I reference so often that... You... Thomas has finished the series that he was. And how would you rate it, Lama? How would you rate it? You like it? That's good. It was a good series. Awesome. You're eventually going to watch it. Yeah, I mean, Airplane is okay. It's got some sex jokes in it, and it's got, like, weird violence. And it's an old movie, so it's a little problematic, as older movies tend to be, just by dint of being an older movie. <laughs> but it's still so, so many jokes that I quote on a daily basis. It's not even funny. Going wrong, there's not even anything on them. That's what's supposed to go there, but it's showing as wrong. I can hear you, you're just standing by a portal somewhere. I am, I'm doing very important research. Very important research.
I sense that something is getting renamed. You are correct. Oh no, it's raining. Oh no. Welcome. Welcome? What? Hmm? Here's a tiny Ziglin. Oh, you got a Ziglin baby? Yeah. Scampering around like a nut bag. I still have the Holy Hermit on the hill. Yeah. Oh, the, the guy up there in the stuck on your mountainside. Yeah.
Um, well, the white bit on the bottom of the shoe is the shoe because like they're Converse shoes and Converse have that white bit along the bottom edge. Oh, the little brownie tanny bit. Well, I kind of left a little bit just because I didn't want to like have to do fiddling with getting the it down exactly to just show the white bit. And you can sometimes see it. Yeah. But you can't see as much of the white as, as, as on the bottom of the shoe as you can with mine on yours. But I mean, it's still just as good. I was just, you know, I was being extra picky about it. Just different interpretations of the same thing. Yeah, essentially. There, now I have a mailbox. Oh, you made a mailbox? Yeah. Well, that sounds adorable. I'll have to come look at it in a little bit. Yeah, it's right as you come up the portal heading to the because it's like, you know how people have their mailboxes at the end of their driveway? Yeah, that sounds cool. I have to definitely have to come look at it in a bit. I mean, it's nothing earth shattering, but it's pretty cool. It's cute. And I want to see the cute. Okay. Leaves are alive. myself all over
to another axolotl pool. Thomas needs, says he needs to think of a place to put all of his axolotls. Apparently, he has a lot of axolotls. A lot of lotls. Two that you know of. I love that you, like, kind of, like, qualified that with that you know of. Like, you know, just, like, hidden axolotls somewhere. Secret axolotl stash. Is your AI broken, Supervisor Clark? You've been standing in the exact same spot. Supervisors don't do much. This is true.
Ah, Superflies are far too moving now. Yay, he's recovered. <laughs> looking at the under underside bits. Oh, goodness.
we getting close to plus? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's nine paper. You need to ma mail anything to Mary or Pippin. I suppose this is the thing I could need to. You could have. Inventory in the right order. I need an inventory sorting mod where I can say these things always go in this place, and then I would just push a button and put those things in that place in my inventory. No. You can tell things to sort things in a certain order, but it's always sorted in that order no matter like whatever. So But you can't tell it to put certain things in certain places in your inventory or anything. Hmm. That seems grave oversight. At least not that I know of. I'm sure probably the inventory profile next can't do that, but it's some complicated setup that one Hello. Has. Hello. Oh, that set is a very adorable. Oh, it's got a little button. Yeah. I like buttons. And if you open it and look at the inventory name. Yay, Bloody Willis Mailbot! Yay! Oh, that's adorable! I always forget that you can rename barrels and it'll show up in the thingy. Totally. So here, come see my uh, sound system. Your sound system? Ooh, yeah, very nice. Speakery. Need to put a, a item frame with this from them up here somewhere. Oh, they're in the kitchen. Oh, they're in the kitchen. Oh, I see in the barrel in the kitchen. Very cool. Very cool. It's a cool little speaker. Nice. I didn't even know that you could craft those. Oh, and I also did the sign up. Oh, you. Oh, you did. Carindale? Carydale. Oh, that's a Y? Yeah, I know. It's that's that's the only fancy fonts I could get. The Y looks kinda like an M. <laughs> but it's a Y. It's very fancy. Yeah, Cherrydale, because it's a cherry cottage. Yeah. Even a Dale is an open valley, which this is. Even though there's not like any cherry trees in the Dale. Is it cherry cottage? Very nice. I like it. It's very cool. Yeah. I was gonna name it like, you know, I was like, after Pippin and Mary got married and settled down, where did they live? Did it have a name, you know? Uh, but no, I, I can't come up with that. Pippin grew up in a farm at Whitwell, but man. Yeah. I think it's good. It's very cute. Yay. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. And eventually this shulker monster will go away. Well, yeah, I mean, you're always going to have like a chest slash shulker monster when you're in the middle of a build. Oh, yeah, 
Even Pearl does. I know, and Pearl's the like the cleaning lady. Exactly. Oh, we need to work on this one too. The boombox over here. With the music y stuff. And it's it tiny watermelon, maybe the kid. What? The tiny watermelon in the garden may also be the kids. I do love the tiny watermelon. Yeah, the boombox. Now that we know we can get like a, a, um, that like, well, I guess we already knew that, that, um, creeper spawning platforms are really super easy to make. We need to get one that we can like, put like skelly and stuff and the fiery and the booming and the stuffing. I'll have to do some research. Maybe I'll, like, I gotta remember to go look stuff up and figure that out. Really? And you've been you've been mapping, right? Yeah, it's not all that terribly interesting looking progress wise, but <laughs> yeah. that's, that's good. I'll see it when I watch the VOD next year when you post it. Hey, I am all caught up on VODs right now, guys. I use I like posted them all this afternoon, but I <laughs> did take advantage of the break to get all of my VODs caught up. So Ooh. huzzah. And yeah, yeah, because yeah. of affiliate thingies, I can I have to wait for 24 hours after to be um, streamed to post VODs anywhere. But so like, hopefully, maybe, possibly, I can like keep up now and after every stream post the previous stream's VOD. You know, maybe, possibly, I don't know, probably not. But that's that's the plan. VOD video on demand. <laughs> it's, I thought it was video of the day video of the day no I, I believe it's on demand because it's the video of the stream but instead of watching it during the stream you're watching it on demand you know whenever you want kind of thing okay. at least that's what i always thought it was like watch like we're all wrong and it's some uh, something else completely weird but anyway <laughs> yeah. um i will see you all guys later i hope you the all internet agrees with you what the internet agrees with you. Oh, do they? Oh, that's yeah. good. That, that, that rarely happens. <laughs> Alrighty, everybody. I hope you all have a great day, and I will see you all later. Bye!